Hey, what's happening everybody? Welcome back to Mental Health Casual. I am Lucky, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about a particular Reddit post that I came across uh, when I was doing the, uh, when I was recording the podcast, um, which you guys can always check out at the link tree in the info box down below. Just go to Mental Health Casual Podcast. Yeah, I found this post and I thought it was kind of interesting because I didn't really think about it since, you know, I've been posting since the pandemic. Uh, but let me read the post and then I'll kind of get into what uh, today's video will be about. Anybody miss the lockdowns? I don't miss the fear of COVID, but I just miss how mental health was so focused on and how everyone was kind of, quote unquote, in the same boat. I feel so isolated lately and alone. I feel like I'm fighting this all alone while during the lockdowns, it felt like we were all in it together. I'm supposed to start a new medication this week and I'm absolutely terrified, but I know I have to get through it alone for any hope of improvement. So at first glance, this Reddit post might seem, you know, a little harsh. Well, I mean, we went through a pandemic. You just want to go through all that again. But I totally understand what this person is talking about because I had actually said a very similar thing where I, and you know, maybe this is a little insensitive and all that other stuff, but I just felt that during the pandemic, since we were all suffering together, we're all suffering a similar pain, that everybody was a lot more empathetic towards one another. And once we got out of the, and you know, obviously there are still people suffering from the pandemic and I don't want to act like everything is completely over, but um, at the same time, it feels like we kind of just swept certain things under the rug, so to speak. And now it's like, oh, well, you know, mental health doesn't matter anymore. Let's just go on to our regular life. Um, and the problem with that is this is how I used to, or this is how I naturally am, right? I naturally would do a lot of these things where I would say, Oh, well, forget that. Let's just go on with our life, uh, go on with my life. Eventually, things would bottle up to the point where there would be another explosion. The, the problem with a society doing that is the explosion usually ends up being a, and it's unfortunate to say this, but a lot of people suffering from mental illness and, and possibly even um, the, the worst part of mental illness is obviously uh, the, the suicides. And that's why, you know, we always have to remember what it was like when we were suffering, right? Um, I, I'm not saying we have to relive things or anything like that. It depends on what kind of suffering we're talking about. Let me use an example. Let me use myself as, as an example here. So when I was talking, you know, I talk a lot about like, you know, being sober, all that other stuff. Um, I think my sobriety birthday is coming up in August uh, for three, three Three years, yeah. One of the things I always have to mention to people is that uh, I, I have to kind of remember that, uh, I, or remind myself that alcohol, it was, it was not a good thing for me. The reason why I have to remind myself is because when I go to the store and, you know, I, I pass that alcohol aisle, I know exactly, you know, I, I remember the six pack I used to get. I remember the 12 pack I used to get. I remember killing a 24 pack one time. Like uh, these memories come flooding in when I when I go past that aisle. And so I always have to remind myself, oh, whoa, whoa, wait, do you also remember that time that you, uh, you know, you pissed yourself, um, you know, outside of a, of a bar and, you know, sprained your ankle and lost a shoe? Yes, that all happened in one night, by the way. Um, do you remember when you hurt this person? Do you remember when you did this and did that? I, I really have to try and remind myself because sometimes I get a little too giddy. It's like, oh yeah, no, that was, that was past me. This is new me, right? <laughs> um, and unfortunately I think, you know, and I, I don't have any like data, anything. I didn't bring anything up, um, for this, but I just wanted to kind of answer this question, kind of, um, you know, empathize with it a little bit because, I think a lot of us, you know, just kind of want to move on. We just want to move on with our lives. We just want to be happy. We just want to do this. You know, like I said before, the problem with that is we brush a lot of things under the rug in order to be happy. And I've talked about this before, but I don't think the main point in life is to be happy. I think the, uh, you know, I, I kind of struggle with this a lot, but I think, a, uh, you know, another uh, a better point in life is to achieve your purpose, uh, to have a family, to build a better community. Um, and I think happiness comes, you know, in brief intervals in between that or, you know, maybe big intervals. I'm not too sure. But I don't think that should be like the main focus. And I think that's kind of since we've had such a, 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 you know, a lack of happiness throughout the last uh, what, couple of years. 
uh, we, we kind of want our dopamine. We want our, you know, we want our, the, the, the things that make us happy without actually remembering. Well, I mean, during the pandemic, I was, you know, I, and, you know, to put, put it in perspective, you know, even though I was doing all these videos, I was doing the mental health chats and all this stuff, um, I was really hurting, man. Like, I just, I remember it, I would have, um, you know, I, and I think this is a problem that I had too, right? I was trying to brush this under the rug, but almost every single day I was just thinking like, I'm so useless. I'm so this, I, you know, it just kept going on and on because I wasn't working. I wasn't making money. I wasn't, and, and listen, it wasn't about the, the work. It wasn't about the making money or anything like that. It was the fact that I was in the house most of the day. Um, even though I was fulfilling a purpose, I was doing videos, I was doing, you know, certain things. I just, I needed to get out of the house, but there was nowhere to go. Um, and you know, I'm sure I can sprinkle a couple other excuses in there, but, um, you know, once I got started getting out of the house, everything, uh, started getting a lot uh, easier and then I'd come back to the house and, you know, my sleep was just so much better. Uh, there's just so many things that have, uh, that, that, that I've benefited off of now that I've gotten things going. But, um, I also can't forget the fact that, um, you know, I let my mental health go really far down during the pandemic. And even though it's gotten a lot better now because, uh, you know, I've kept myself busy, the, you know, those certain things, um, I can't forget how far down I dropped. And I don't think anybody else should. Not saying that you have to go back there or we have to, you know, relive things, anything like that. But we have to remember that a lot of people got really messed up during the pandemic. And I don't think, you know, Let's see, when did everything start opening up? Like maybe late last year, something like that, early this year. Um, that's not that much time to really recover from, you know, all the deaths that people had to deal with. Um, you know, my family had to deal with a lot during the pandemic, a lot of deaths. You know, with that in mind, we have to remember that we need to keep on working on ourselves in the good times and in the bad times. Because it always feels like, well, in the bad times, I can do the, I can do these things because, you know, you, you, you want to get rid of the bad feelings but in the good times are you still doing the the things that need to be done and i would ask the people who you know wanted to really prioritize their mental health during the pandemic um are you still prioritizing it or are you putting it to the side because um of other things you know that you've you've filled your life with listen fill your thing fill, fill your life with things that's totally fine but don't forget about your mental health because if anything the pandemic showed us uh, what, what our true nature is, right? You remember people hoarding the, the toilet paper. You remember people, um, you know, remember, uh, uh, addiction rates going up. You remember there were so many things that were happening and I, I don't want us to, once again, I, I think we should move on, but I don't want us to forget that that could happen again very easily unless we work on ourselves. And, you know, even if we do work on ourselves, it, we, we, we're still going to fall pretty low. But that pandemic really showed me that I was not working on myself as much as I thought and that I really need to uh, step it up quite a bit. Um, and I hope that you guys stepped up your uh, mental health game, whatever that may be, um, implementing workouts now that things are opening up again, wh whatever it may be. Um, but don't please do not forget about your mental health just because this, you know, the, the pandemic's over or it's coming to a close, close end, w whatever it may be. Please still try and remember about your mental health, even in the good times and try and remember that we're still in this together, despite the fact that we're not maybe all suffering together at the same time. We're still human beings and we all, um, you know, if one of us suffers, we all do suffer to a certain degree. So. Um, try and remember that um, as you go forward and still try and be kind because I feel like, you know, there, there was a certain kind of kindness that came out during the pandemic that was really, really cool. But it came mostly out of, um, oh, my gosh, you're suffering just like I'm suffering and they're suffering like I'm suffering. And, you know, it, it just came out of suffering. But um, I think this is a good lesson to us to try and just be nice, to just try and or be nicer to people. It uh, doesn't mean you have to be a pushover or anything like that. But you know, just, just saying hi, just saying, how are you doing? Just certain things like that um, could go a long way and really, really help the mental health of a lot of people out there. I'll leave a link to the anxiety subreddit in the description box down below if you guys want to check that out. Once again, if you guys want to check out my podcast, you can check that out. I record uh, five days a week, Tuesday through Saturday. So if you guys want to check that out, I'll leave a link to that in the description box down below as well. But as always, guys, don't forget to keep it casual. Hey guys, thanks for watching Mental Health Casual. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos.